Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we're going to be looking at some more AP Physics 1 free response questions on some harmonic motion. So as usual, I suggest you pause the video, attempt to do the problem, and then come back to it after you've attempted it. So I have an ideal massless spring is hung from a ceiling and a, and a pan suspension of total mass M is suspended from the end of the spring. So this is a pan and a spring. Um, a piece of clay also of mass M, so this is the same weight as this thing, same mass as this thing, is dropped from a height H under the pan and sticks to it. Express all algebraic terms in terms of the given quantities and fundamental constants. Determine of the speed of the clay the instant it hits the pan. Okay, so the first is um, some energy conversion. We have some potential energy converting into kinetic energy down here as it falls. You could also do it through kinematic equations. It's fine. I think I think energy is like simpler once you have a good sense of energy. But I'll, I'll do it both ways just so you can kind of see how you could do it either way. So um, mgh, well, how much potential energy it has? It has mgh at the beginning. All that potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy, mv squared at the bottom here. So uh, v, the m's cancel. Multiply by 2, V is the square root of 2GH, right? Okay, so that's that one. Now, from a kinematic point of view, you might recognize this equation from kinematics. Um, we can look at the equation. There's, there's two equations that relate um, uh, displacement as a function of time. You have this equation. Delta X is V naught T plus 1 half AT squared. But this one requires, you know, like how long it was falling for. So this is not a really good one. The other one is this one, v naught squared plus 2a delta x. And uh, the initial velocity is 0, so this is 0 plus 2g delta x. And actually minus, sorry, it's minus g because it's, uh, no, it's, it's a, no, it's just, it's just, it's positive. In this case, uh, delta x is the distance it falls is 2gh. And so you see v is equal squared to 2gh, right? Same thing. Could have done it either way. Determine the speed of the clay just of the in the pan after the clay strikes it. So now it hits here and they're stuck together. Um, this is definitely this is a perfectly inelastic collision, right? So the only thing that's conserved in those kinds of collisions is momentum, as long as there's no external force. And at the moment of collision, um, when they're stuck together, there's no really external force. Um, I know there's technically gravity. Um, and the spring, but at the moment of collision, we just say at that specific moment, there wasn't a force that would otherwise change the momentum of the system. You could also think of it, th th those forces, like the spring and gravity, at the moment of collision, they didn't last very long. Like, the, the, the duration was small, so the impulse was small. Um, although technically, and realistically, it wasn't zero. It does take time for a collision to occur, so there might have been some slight momentum reduction, but we're going to assume that momentum was conserved. So right before it hits, the total momentum of the two masses is just m times v. It's just the mass of the clay, because this the, the pan isn't moving yet, right? It's just that this thing is moving down with some velocity v. And then they get stuck together into two masses, and they're moving at a new velocity I'm going to call v1. Um, so after it strikes it, V1 is equal to, so the M's cancel, V is 1 half V, which is 1 half square root of 2 GH. And you could leave it like this. You could bring the 2 in and make it square root of GH over 2. It doesn't really matter, but I, that would be probably an acceptable answer. So after the collision, the apparatus comes to rest at a distance H over 2 below its current position. So that means it's down here. You know where it's h it fell h over two, right? Determine the spring constant of the attached spring. So now it's still kind of an energy conversion, because right initially we're at equilibrium, um, and the energy is one half two m. It's just kinetic energy v one squared, and that would have to equal one half k delta x squared. Okay, so the the kinetic energy now that they're moving together. Um, gets converted into, oh, actually, uh, let me think. Um, it has some potential energy too, right? Do I get to deal with that? Let me think about that. Uh, 
Yeah, it fell a little bit. So you got to think about the potential energy. So it technically has some potential energy also. M, oh, not one half. It's just MGH. 2M, G. And H is the would be the distance that it falls. Look for the MGH, so it would be H over 2. Plus one half K. Um, delta X squared. Delta X is H over 2. Okay, so I can I solve for k. Let's try to simplify this. So this is just m v one squared would be uh, one fourth times two g h, right? Plus these twos cancels. This would be just m g h is equal to this is one fourth one eighth k h squared. Um, so this is uh, one half m g h. This is m g h. So this is three halves. MGH is equal to 1 8th K H squared. One of these H's cancel. I can multiply by 8. That becomes 12 MG. And then I can divide by H is equal to K. Okay. So that's what I got there. Uh, determine the resulting period of oscillation. Uh, the, the period of oscillation is this equation that they will give to you. It's 2 pi square root of m over k. So in this case, it's 2 pi square root. It's just related to the mass. Total mass is 2m over k, which is uh, 12mg over h, right? Because we found what k was. That's 2 pi square root of h goes the ends cancel h goes to the top uh, over and the 2 and the 12 becomes 6 so 6g h over 6g okay I believe that uh, generally looks right is it m over k I, uh, here I think it's m over k I always think it's k over m but then I get super confused so um, actually I guess I could do it by units is it Newton's this is newtons per meter and this is kilograms. So this is kilograms meters per second squared and kilograms. Um, oh, divided by meters. So the meters cancel, kilograms cancel. And so yeah, yeah. So I got it right. Okay. Um, hope you found that helpful. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.